major concern is the fact that it's only March and uh, we have a very long summer ahead of us. I think this weekend made that quite obvious. Brian Luciano is the Virginia Beach Police Benevolent Association president. He wrote this letter to city council coming to the defense of the 500 officers represented by the union. The dialogue that I have been hearing has been what did the police do wrong and let's go through everything with a fine tooth comb, which is fine, but let's not forget to look at what went right that day and to also uh, remember the, the victims and talk about why this happened in the first place. He says there is a major manpower problem in the department. Here, the new police months. chief agrees. We're not just down 100 officers. We probably need 150 to 200 additional officers to provide the policing services for a city this size. The union president believes the shortage is putting citywide you know, safety again, in jeopardy. We can't provide a good service for the rest of the city. So whether you visit the oceanfront or not, whether you live at the oceanfront or not, this should be concerning because this affects SeaTac and Pungo and Kempsville and Centerville and Bayside. This issue affects every uh, neighborhood in our city. The chief says that they're making staffing changes, trying to beef up the police presence and have asked the Virginia Beach Sheriff to utilize some of his deputies. The union president says that the officer applicant pool is shrinking and the need for officers is huge. We're competing with police departments across the country. They are actively recruiting and they are offering the best packages that they can to recruit and retain these police officers. And we have failed miserably in that arena. He says everyone in the city should feel safe. The people in the rest of the city have a right to walk down their own beach that their taxes pay for and to feel safe. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3.